<clears throat> yeah, right, guys and girls, welcome back to another video. I was going to do a long episode, but my battery is just gone and just got flat. And this is the camera I've been using yesterday for doing my two um, videos. Very good quality, very small and compact. This is the Nikon Corpex, and this model version is the S6900. I believe I did a review about this 6900 um, a while ago back when I bought it. <clears throat> Very small. can just fit it in the palm of your hands. Not entirely. Still wouldn't even... Um, Still need to clutch it and all that, but the actual lens, good camera lens, Nikkor 12 times wide optical zoom, and I believe it says four, yeah, wide 12, full HD as well. So that's one I've been, and I'm charging up at the moment. This one here, with my case power, 1400. Well, actually. 1,400, how is that? No, is that 14? 14,200 capacity. So, 14,200 mAh input, 5 volts, 2.1 amp. Output of 5 volts at 3.1 amp. Assembled in China, so they, like, they make some good quality. I've been using this, I used this yesterday to do my uh, videos for my carnival, which I'm uploading. Uh, well, going to be uploading actually guys and girls, so I've got to do some video editing and do some commentary over the top. I might even see if I can put my camera bits and bobs in there while I'm doing some talking over the top of it. Um, I think my camera, uh, my webcam actually I should say, I think it's on the blink. Because every time I connect it into Windows 10, for some reason, it's not like it seems to be out of sync or something, unless it's the software I'm using. but. Um, yeah, anyway, this is 678 days now, I believe, into my slim fast dieting plan. So we're going to move this to the one side, and we're going to put that in there. Uh, we'll put that in there for nine minutes. Um, so I did some shopping. I've just come back doing some shopping. Bought some of these bags of corn here. Very good actually because they are high in protein, low in fat. And I'm going to give my brother some as well with his sausages. So this is the dinner episode for today for for the Saturday the 11th of November 2017. It's 6:41 as well, guys and girls. some of this in there. idea as well guys and girls. Gonna put 
some of this stuff in it. It's going to be shitting for a week, I'll tell you. Get myself some as well, which I've got in there. Not the gravy though, because I don't have this shit gravy. Even though the brand's good, Bisto. Oh, Bisto. You used to have that back in the days. But yeah, still good though. Alright. Definitely a good branded name. the top and that's his dinner sorted out and all that. Oh yeah. I'll be right for him for later. which ones you guys and girls would prefer at the camera whether this one would be good or if the lightning um, picture quality is a lot better on the other one I don't know it's hard to tell really because I find looking at both of them when it, the other one's in 4k when this camera here is in 4k I need to make myself like I wonder what gives me the best angle let's have a look eh? shall we get it I could become like a male model for YouTube, maybe. I don't know. Probably leave that for now. <laughs> uh, right, maybe in another life. Oh, right. So the animals down when they get to the chopper, do it. Come on, my name's Henry. As you can imagine, if Arnold Schwarzenegger, right, if uh, he actually played a role and he had to name himself. Good morning, my name's Henry. Henry Arnold Schwarzenegger. The kid to the chopper. Oh, actually, the Henry Nator. Good morning. I'll be back because I'm the Henry Nator. Get to the chopper, do it. Come on. <laughs> oh. Alright. So what we are going to, oh I'm going too many beans eh? Don't want too many beans, come on down to too many beans. Yeah. Oh. There we go.
Alright, that's cooling down. That's good. That's what I want. I wanted to cool down because I've got to put it in for an extra three minutes anyway. So, be good. Oh, that's better. So, I've got um, the thing I put in for nine minutes. I'm going to put extra three minutes on there. And I'm doing my mum's in. I've got to put the vegetables in next. For there to be quite some time. I don't know time. Terminated time. Come on, do it. And then welcome to Henry Christmas. Hello, it's like Henry Christmas. Henry Christmas, and that'd be a good name, wouldn't it, for like a a character in a movie. Good morning, everybody, and happy Henry Christmas. Could I do it in like, um, oh, actually, that'd be quite cool. Do a jingle all the way to a two, is it? Or oh, I don't know if they've actually got a number two, I don't know. I think they've only made one movie on that. Because there's all these films get redone and stuff, and the remakes of, of films absolutely get tarnished literally they should not make like remasters or remakes of films oh actually in a way like a remaster it like um, visual quality and all that of the original and then make it more better but uh, a remake oh god that is like the worst thing you can do Always keep the originals. Right. You need to... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Right way. Well, I'll be back in a couple of minutes, guys. You guys got to quickly do something. I got to get to the chopper. Yeah, so at the moment, I'm just uh, while I'm doing this one, waiting for this vegetables to be done, just charging that up. And I might use that for like other video blogging and stuff when I'm doing my videos. Oh, shit, it's gonna come down. And on, guys and girls, there we go. There we go. That's better. That's Shane Spritters. Right, um. Whew. Oh, God, my legs. I feel like a bloody old man, I'll tell you that, guys and girls. Right, that's about 20 seconds, so I should be alright. Ooh. Ooh, that's hot. Packaging, so you can't bloody open it. I'll tell you that. They're making so tough. There we go. I'm back in a second, guys and girls. Alright, guys and girls. Alright, I'm back <laughs> again. Uh, so I've just paused here for a minute. So, yeah, um, so it's really felt like. I wasn't even gone. But yeah, um, my mum got me that, what's it called, um, that new Pirates of the Caribbean, I might watch that later. Um, I watched, ah, uh, oh, what's it called? What's that film called? I was watching a film the other day, absolutely brilliant film. 
by the way. Um, set during the World War Two and all of that. Quite of um, sort of a love story through it, and then they had like all the battles and all that, which is absolutely amazing. Can't wait until Dunkirk comes out though. That's going to be good. Um, that should be around the corner very soon. I'll probably get the 4K version of that. Hopefully, I can get it. Um, because I find, to be honest, 4K absolutely amazing. HDR excellent. And then my friend was moaning because then, as he said, it wasn't much of an upgrade. 4K is not much of an upgrade. In a way, he's right. And but then, who's going to pay for an 8K screen? Come on, 8K is they haven't even got any content out for 8K yet, and they've even got like 12K TVs and I think like 24Ks or something. I'm thinking ridiculous. My god, that is a lot. So, so 20, what's that? 20. If they, if it's 24k, that's like a 48 pixel, uh, 48 million pixels. So a lot. But I'm gonna see what that new Pirates of the Caribbean is. Uh, Salas, I think it's now Salas uh, Revenge or something. Like. Or Salazar's Revenge, and it's um, I believe it that guy, um, Avier I think, or I think his name's Avier Demand or whatever his name is. But um, I think I believe he played in James Bond. I don't know. I don't know if it was Spectre. Spectre sounds quite familiar. As you know, Spectre, I think that's one with Batista in it, Dave Batista. But I do like my James Bond films. Can't get me away from James Bond, and I can't wait for the next one. But the next one won't be coming out until, oh, probably until 2020 or something. So not a long to go, but another two years. I don't, think, I don't even know, it might be 2019, so it'll be like the year after. Ooh, hi. what we're in at the moment, 17 minutes, Ooh. so just getting these little bags of vegetables out so I don't end up burning myself to death, right, vegetables, put another two bags in, put those two bags in of vegetables, and we should be good, so I'm having Technically, three kinds of vegetables. Right, back in a minute. Two minutes. Right, I'm almost done, guys and gosh. So I'm just getting the vegetables on the go. Just putting my mums in now at the moment. But yeah, let us know in the comments below, guys and girls, whether you like this camera or whether you like the other one. Um, I don't know why the other one seems a bit wider, but then again, this seems quite wider. So this might might be because I'm from a distance. So this kind of fills out the gaps um, and makes it like outwards. The other one, I don't know, it seemed not too zoomed in. And not too zoomed out, it just seemed more uh, like narrower inwards, but still had that like wider approach. It's probably because I had it up on top of there or something on top of the uh, fridge. But uh, I've got you all my slim fast uh, at the moment, so. Alright. 
So that will take a couple of minutes. Yeah, so what was that standing there actually, <laughs> doing the food? I was thinking about all those TV shows that used to be on back in the days. And I feel like, to be honest, I feel like an old man. Just thinking about it. Like the TV shows they used to have, like um, Hot Spots and Not. Um, I forgot what the program was called now. Uh, they used to go up like staircases and used to answer questions. And they used to get a hot spot or not. And if they had a knot on there, then they didn't move and stuff. And then they had like teams they used to work together. Um, Michael Barrymore was in it. Absolutely brilliant show. And then you used to have that um, other one as well, that other TV show back in the days, Supermarket Sweep. Absolutely brilliant. Used to watch it with my mum and all that in the mornings. And then he started doing that, um, yeah, Dale Winton. And then was that other show I used to watch as well, um, with Bob Monkhouse. You either open the box and see what's in it, or you take the money. Take the money? What's that? What are you going to do? You're going to take the money, or you're going to open the box? Oh, you're going to open the box? Well, here's the key to number 13. Oh, it's unlucky for some, and you've got yourself a booby prize. Absolutely brilliant. Because they used to either have a car in it, or they used to have like a sticker rock or something, or something really nasty. A lifetime supply of baked beans. Well, that would have been done for me. I'd be just taking it now. Thank you very much. I'll have a tin of baked beans for the rest of my life. Thank you very much. Or like a year supply or something. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't think that as a booby prize actually at all. I would have thought that, like a year supply of baked beans or something or a couple years supply, I would have thought, my God, that's fantastic. I, I'm, I'm, I'm in a little place here, a nice little place. <laughs> anyway, back in the set, guys and girls. Yeah, I would have thought, actually, I would have thought, if I won a, a year supply of, t uh, like, baked beans, actually, if I won a year supply of corn, vegan, vegetarian corn, I'd be done for life. I'll be so happy I thought I won the lottery. Literally. I just love corn actually. I love uh, vegetarian foods now. And all this vegan stuff. No need to go around after animals and poach and all that for their foods. I'll tell you what. Plant a year for life now. Literally for life. I wouldn't go back on meats ever again. You could pay me like two million pounds. And I would not go there at all that distance literally corn has literally changed my whole life in the fact and um, like after my dog like passed away and um, got put down due to illness it kind of changed it literally opened my eyes completely i felt like a whole like all this weight had been shifted off me before with all this meat and animals and stuff, eating animals, like chickens and stuff, I kind of felt that there was a sort of a weight weighing me down. Now that I feel like um, a new person now, it's kind of made me love animals and not want to eat them. Hopefully you get where I'm coming with this anyway, guys and girls, definitely. But yeah, if you're an animal lover yourself, you definitely would know. God's creatures, that is. God's creatures, there. Uh. Right. But like I said, I heard um, that uh, Paul McCartney's turned sort of vegan, always been vegan for a while. 
and a lot of people are turning vegan now because they uh, and even like designer people the ones who makes designer clothes they're literally going for stuff now where they don't want to make stuff out of fox fur and all this kind of stuff they've kind of put it onto themselves but they're going to a different route now where they don't want to kill any animals at all so which is absolutely a thumbs up to me and thumbs up to the companies doing this kind of stuff but um, anybody else who's um, who don't like it, the ones who don't like animals and just wants them for food and stuff I mean it's entirely up to you guys and girls but myself personally in my opinion I don't know I don't like it myself anyway guys and girls this is the mints I've done for my brother with some sausages there so you can put some stuff with it now I've got my food here which is my vegetarian food with my greens uh, my carrots and all that and got my baked beans under there brown rice and my corn mints the packet ones I bought some packet ones today uh, frozen ones then for my mum she's having the same she's having some of this like the ca cauliflower vegetarian stuff foods under there as well with vegetarian mints exactly the same keeping all healthy so she's got her baked beans she's got her brown rice corn um, vegetarian version high in protein low in fat carbs everything anyway guys and girls cheers all for watching it's been the 11th saturday the 11th for november hopefully this video helps others uh to turn others uh vegetarian i don't want to be like i don't want to convert you guys because you can do it um like become a vegetarian if you want if you don't want it that's entirely up to you guys and girls i'm just um trying to help people and stuff it's much healthier as well definitely much healthier so cheers all for watching guys and girls catch you all later stay safe and have a good one